Hi guys, welcome. So we're gonna do a little bit of feet to floor. What we're gonna work on today is not necessarily punching in to getting underhooks, but once we've achieved a solid underhook, what I mean by a solid underhook, I don't mean our elbow is underneath their armpit. If NASA wants to drive a heavy whizzer into this, he can actually start to talk my arm. I don't know if anyone's seen the uh, Sean Strickland and Orlando Sanchez video. Oh, motherfucker! Hey. What the fuck? But he just bangs this in and it can actually really hurt your elbow. So I don't mean good underhook with an elbow underneath his shoulder. I mean getting my AC joint nice and high up underneath his armpit. AC joint's that little bony prominence on the top of your shoulder there. So once we're actually in this position, it's fairly caught. You're right, my head. You shaved and you come late. It's, it's not enough for me to start chasing uh, knee taps or throw bys from here if my hips are out of place. If my hips are all the way out here and I'm trying to go for these, NASA can do the exact same thing, start to turn his hips perpendicular to me and then start to throw me. Because my hips are in the worst position possible, I'm going to get loaded up pretty bad here. So when we're going through this underhook, once we've got this, we're actually trying to step into the middle as much as possible and lead with our chest. If we don't lead with our chest, we can get caught down like this and that's for obvious reasons bad and good for him. So once we get into this position, we're going to start to lead with our chest. We're going to break his posture by stepping in between with our legs and then it doesn't really matter where you go from here. You could go, uh, you could go throw by where you start to come this way. You can go knee taps where you can start to come this way. Or if you go for a throw by and it doesn't work, you can start to come out the singles here. We'll look at that next. So again, pretty similar drill. Once we're in this position, we're not leaving our hips out so we can get thrown. Even if he has good head position, we can still start to square up bring our chest and our knee inside the middle and now we can go knee tap this way or we can set that, claim the inside of the thigh that's closest to us and then like a cricket ball, throw it over. This will get rid of his arms and now we can start to either attack turtle or four point. If you find, play with your partner, if you find that this is too tight and you go for this, it's not going to work. It'll probably come when he starts to back up in the way you step in, see how his elbow goes nice and high from this position? If I'm out here, it's not going to work. If I step in and lift, it is going to work. I can start to turn the corner and it's easy to get rid of the wizard. So, nice deep underhook, step in with our chest. We can go knee taps this side or if we can start to lift and turn the corner, now we're going to go throw bites. Let's give those two a go. Are you a big believer in the ecological approach? No, no. Why not? Explain your position. I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All the best guys drill. It's like every day. Yeah, it, it's, look, I understand it's not mindless drilling because mindless drilling is as bad as doing nothing. Yeah. Drilling for reps, shit like that. I'm going to do 100 quarter duties today. Great. Well, you've wasted 99 efforts. Could have been doing something completely different.
Did you do that face plant? Yeah. Mate, have you? 